Howdy folks, welcome back to Black Mountain, Montana. It's been busy. I've been a busy boy. It's been a couple days, I think, since I last checked in with you. And I've been making money, I've been spending money, getting stuff carted up here to the top of the mountain. I did quite a few missions, uh, contracts down in the valley, did some fertilizing after the cotton, and uh, made a pretty good chunk of change. I ended up taking my little tractor down there with the fertilizer spreader. So I was able to use my own equipment and did, uh, I think, three of the biggest fields. Made a nice little chunk of change. So I bought some lumber and some tin and I got this uh, shed put up here so we can kind of start keeping the rain off the equipment. Got some of the stuff put in there. And also, you can see this little tractor is covered in dirt. I did a little digging. Go take a little peek. Oh, we still got some daylight. Yep, that's going to be a pond. Someday. So there was a surprising amount of dirt here. I was able to move the dirt around. I got a dam built. I hit some rock over here, so it couldn't go any deeper. But what's interesting is over here I hit, some, I hit a pocket of sand. And it's kind of starting to seep in wet there. So I'm thinking there might be some water somewhere coming off the bedrock, maybe, into that sand pocket. So this may fill up before it even rains, but uh, we'll see how it goes. It's it's kind of a lopsided pond because I hit the rock over there. But it'll hold some water. we got quite a bit of runoff here. Should fill up, you know, after a few rains. Built a, a pretty substantial dam. It's not engineered or anything. It's just me piling up dirt. I left some of the trees here just to give the ground some stability. But uh, I think it'll hold water. And that way we'll have water for our sheep. And what else have we done here? I got some more trees down. That's what we're going to go do here in just a minute. Start doing some lumberjacking. I haven't done any dirt work down here yet. I do plan to level this out a bit, I think. I'm not 100% sure yet where the sheep are going to go. Still lots to figure out. Take a little jog up here. I was telling you about the solar panel. This is that solar panel I got installed. See, it tracks the sun. It's pretty cool. Got its own little control box. And uh, that's making power. It makes me a little bit of money every day. Not a ton, but it, it more than pays for the loan I had to take out to get that installed. So, a nice little program the county's got. And that'll be enough power for my needs. Plus, like I said, I can sell some back and make a little money. So we're going to run over here. I got some more trees down. Still working on expanding the field. This probably won't be a super long episode today. Just kind of checking in, getting you updated on what's going on on the farm. Starting to take shape. You can see we've got 45000 even after spending all this money. So we're almost to the point where I can start building a sheep pen and get some animals up here and start making some wool. Uh, we're going to get some more trees cut down. I've got quite a few trees felled over here. Then playing lumberjack again. Fight our way through these branches here. That one needs to go. That one needs to go. So let's get these down. In farm sim tradition, they always fall to the left. I wish real life trees were that cooperative. Wee! <laughs> Of course, IRL cutting down trees like this is quite dangerous. You want to make sure you know what you're doing. But it's nice and safe in farm sim. Uh-oh. I think that one headed for the pond. Yep, it's over there on the slope. Uh, that tree can stay. These need down. We're going to just run the field down here along above the pond. Here's where I wish you could choose which way the tree went. Come on, oh, there we go. Timber! Another tree down. This is lots of money here. 
Kind of been our main source of income so far is selling the wood. And then uh, those contracts that actually paid, the fertilizing contracts were fairly lucrative. Uh, I'm going to leave that tree. Try to leave the ones on the edge. Let's get this one down. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but that's a forest service station over there. They've got a couple people working. They actually have a good water supply. So, worst comes to worst, I can buy some water from them. Need to. We'll have to see. It is a little bit cloudy today. I'm hoping for some rain. Get Start getting that pond filled up. There we go. So, these three, I think. Those two and this one are going down. And I got a lot of limbing to do. Not the small furry animal. Removing limbs from the tree. I did a lot of that as a youngster. But it was with a hand axe. We had a wood burning stove at home, so... A lot of my childhood was either cutting wood or splitting wood or hauling wood. All right, it's getting a little hard to see with all these trees down. We're definitely going to leave that one. It's next to the road. I think, I think I'll get this one down and that'll be about it. That'll be all the trees down that we need for the field. Wait, how tall is that? All right, let's see if we can lay this where we want it. Timber! There we go. Didn't want to drop that on my new shed. That would be bad. So, yep, that's all the trees. Let's get the tractor up here. And I need to get the trailer. Speaking of trailer, that's another change I need to show you guys. But it's so busy up here, it's kind of hard to remember what uh, I need to show off. Go through here, almost getting the trail worn down through here. Let's take the tractor around. Oh, that's in the road. That's not good. Let's be a good neighbor. Get that out of the road. Uh-oh. I picked that up? There we go. I want to block the road. Too heavy. Well, I need to start working out, apparently. I think the farmer is a little bit weak in the game. There we go. I increased the grip force on these forks. And uh, they do pick up things a little better. Don't have to. Don't have to use the straps quite as much. The straps are still nice. Wish I knew what causes these to fall out of the wood trigger. Sometimes it just kind of decides to fall out. There we go. <laughs> that works. All right, so trailers. Um, as you saw, the the green truck um, it doesn't pull the trailer that well. It was a little tippy, and I, we did get that load of logs down the mountain, kind of jury-rigged. Uh, but what I ran into is when I went to take this tractor down to the valley to do those contracts, it just wouldn't pull it. It was just too light in the front end. It's going to tear stuff up. So I ended up selling that trailer. And I got a different gooseneck trailer. It's a little bit smaller as far as kind of beefiness and strength. 
it, it'll haul roughly the same amount of stuff, but I got this, uh, this 24 foot PJ here and it's more of a better fit for my pickup. So we're just going to pull that with the pickup. It's got a little less ground clearance because of these stirrups. I hope I don't end up tearing those off. And like I said, it's a little lighter trailer, so it kind of works better with the truck. It won't struggle as much pulling it. So we're just going to use that. We're not going to be uh, pulling it with a grain truck. I'm not even sure I'm going to keep the grain truck. We'll see. Grain truck's going to be good for hauling grass and stuff. But, uh, as far as hauling logs and hauling the tractor around, that uh, that gooseneck trailer right there on the truck works great. More appropriately sized. So I, I pulled the tractor back up here on that, no problem. So anything else I need to update you on? We're uh, doing pretty well. We're living in this tent here. I got some firewood chopped up. The darn chair keeps falling over. Apparently it's stuck to the ground. Bathroom facilities are still a little primitive, but I'm hoping to get a house built here eventually. And get stuff a little more organized. I've got some some of the stuff. Spit it out. Some of the stuff up in the shed there. I need to get uh, maybe another shed built. Or at least a pad to park stuff and get a little more organized. But in the meantime, we've got a lot of trees here. And we're just kind of playing lumberjack. That's my life right now. Getting all this cleared out. The limbing is a little, it's a little picky sometimes on some of the trees. They're just not doing anything. It almost seems to work better if you go from the trunk. So let's do that. So just a whole lot of tree cutting, trips to town with logs. That's what we got going on for the foreseeable future. I might check down in the valley for some harvesting contracts. They're not paying super great. Got the, I got some sugar beets and potatoes down there. That doesn't really pay much. Um, there's some plowing, but field one with my plow. Yeah, that'd take a while. <laughs> but uh, even leasing the equipment, I mean, that's that's seven grand. It's not bad, and we get to play with some bigger stuff. So. Between the logging and the going down to the valley and doing some contracts for the other farmers, uh, I think we're going to be okay for money. It's just a matter of time to get the money built up. Get some sheep up here, get that built out. But uh, it's coming on dark. It's a little cloudy. We might get some rain. But I'm going to, while we got the daylight here, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of these logs, get them on the trailer, and just keep chugging along. So I will leave you here, and I'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Take care.